What's up, good people? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. Hey, check it out. You heard this on all the guitar parts on that track. It's the Jam Pedals, Harmonious Monk. This is a terrific sounding tremolo pedal developed as a collaboration between Mick and Dan from That Pedal Show over there in the UK. My buds, hope to see them soon. And Jam Pedals, of course. So uh, they did a great job on this one. And while it's got uh, sort of a more typical amplitude style tremolo in it, it's also got when you flip this switch, harmonic tremolo. And I thought I would make this video a little bit about harmonic tremolo and why I think it's so special and tell you kind of how harmonic tremolo differs from other tremolo types and make it a bit more about that than just a pedal demo. So what is harmonic tremolo? Well, in the early 60s, Fender put out their brown face style amplifiers and they had this great tremolo circuit. And basically how it works is you split the signal within the amplifier into high and low pass filters. And then the signal kind of gets panned between those two filters and then summed back together. And the overall effect has as much of an amplitude sort of modulating effect as it does a phasing sort of effect. It's got this pulsing, phasey kind of sound, somewhere between like phaser and what I think of as amplitude tremolo, which is just kind of volume on off, really. When would I use each type of different tremolo? Well, like when I want to go for like a vibey, kind of moody, swampy, sort of spooky part, harmonic tremolo works just great for that. And maybe if stepping on a phaser seems like too obvious or too much, or a univibe is like too bizarre and lumpy or something like that, harmonic tremolo can be just the thing to add a special je ne sais quoi, something to a guitar part. And then if I want a bit more of a staccato, on-off, straight-up tremolo sound, more aggressive, I might go to a typical, more typical amplitude-style tremolo, which is what you found in like kind of like the later 60s Fender amplifiers and onward, and in many sort of typical tremolo pedals. So using a couple of these parts from the song at the beginning of the video soloed outside of the mix, let's check out the differences between harmonic trim and amplitude-style trim. <laughs> Now I want to show you the controls on the pedal real quick here and then I'll play a little bit more through it and flip the switches and turn the knobs and stuff. You've got an on off switch here as well as a speed uh, switch. You can go between two different speeds on the pedal, more on that in a little bit. And then you've got four knobs here. One's basically a tremolo depth, a tremolo speed, a mix control, and then a level control. More on that in a bit, but that's really nice because you can actually boost with this pedal if you want to. And as far as the switches go here, you've got a plus setting and a minus setting on that switch. That just kind of changes up the uh, the waveform of the, of, the, of the tremolo. 
to make it a little bit more aggressive and choppy or a little bit smoother around the edges. So the plus setting is more aggressive and the minus setting is a little bit smoother. And then down here we got this H and A switch. That's harmonic tremolo mode or amplitude tremolo mode. So I've got the H and A switch here and that stands for harmonic or amplitude. I've got it down in the amplitude mode. And then we've got this plus and minus switch here and I've got it in the minus mode. Now the plus and minus switch lets you go between sort of a more choppy on off effect or a little bit more smooth and round around the edges. So it really just kind of changes the character of the pulse of the tremolo. And regardless of how you got the depth and the speed set, you either get that slightly more subtle effect or, and that's in the minus position, or a little bit more of the on off effect in the plus position. Now, harmonic mode or amplitude mode. The harmonic mode is much more, like I say, like that phasey uh, kind of phase pulsing effect. Whereas the amplitude mode is a little bit more like say the tremolo on an old mid to late 60s Fender amp. So you can hear the much more sort of phasey quality and a little bit of that sort of, you know, uh, pulsing quality that the harmonic mode has, as opposed to the little bit more like just amplitude up and down effect of the A position. They're both great, like for different things. And I used them both in that song in the video to, to get some different sounds going. Now you've also got the level control here, the mix control and the depth, and those are all pretty interactive. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I turn the pedal off, You can see that it's pretty much unity gain or maybe even boosts a little bit when I turn it on. If I, if I was to bring a level control down, I'm gonna maybe when I turn it on, lose a little bit of level. And that was typical of like a lot of amplifiers with trem in them. It would almost seem like you're losing power or losing signal as you get the, the tremolo turned on. Kind of like that effect so they they aim to mitigate that and uh, and allow you to actually even boost with this pedal if you turn that level control up so you don't get any of that loss of volume and that's really nice and i mean if you turned the uh, depth control all the way down and the level control up you can actually just clean boost with this pedal Okay, and once again, like the depth control and the mix control, they're kind of interactive because they sort of do, I guess, a similar thing. If you turn up the tremolo depth, you get more tremolo. If you turn up the mix control, you get more tremolo or more effect. But it's hard to explain. They're just sort of interactive and you'll find the sound that you like in there. Let me just play with them for a second. <laughs> Okay, and I switched into harmonic mode uh, there at the end as well as I went to the plus position on this switch which gives you a more dramatic tremolo effect. Okay, last but not least, one really cool thing you got here is a switch that lets you go between two different tremolo speeds. <laughs> So that's really nice to have on the fly there where you can just go between those two different speeds. And the range, I should say, of speed on this is pretty huge. Like you can go all the way up to super stuttery, super fast if you want to, all the way down to very slow.
thanks for watching my video on the harmonious monk from the nice folks at Jam Pedals, the guys at That Pedal Show, and also I tried to give a good explanation in this video of the differences between harmonic tremolo as well as the more typically found amplitude tremolo. This pedal does both so well, it's got a great feature set, it sounds really, really good. You can find out more about this pedal at the link in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to all the info about Jam Pedals, Harmonious Monk, as well as all the other great pedals from Jam Pedals. Please, 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 please hit subscribe. If you haven't, hit the little bell beside the subscribe, you'll get an alert when I put out a new video. Take it easy, I'm Pete Thorne. See you soon. Over and out.